Welcome to our Environmental Campaign Plastic Free Periods presentation for a project that took place from 2019 to 2020. My name is Natasha Piepashir, I'm the Environmental Campaign Manager at WEM. And my name is Libby Bowles, I'm the Rethink Periods National Coordinator with a background in marine conservation biology and education. Just a little overview about the project. So this is a joint project between WEN and City to Sea and we were kindly granted support by Waitrose and Partners Plan Plastic Fund. And our project is aimed to lead a UK revolution in education for health conscious, environmentally friendly period products. A Little bit of background on our organizations. Uh, WEN was established back in the 1980s to incorporate women's perspectives in the environmental justice movement. The term environmental was coined in 2004 to raise awareness about the environmental and health impacts of period products. And we launched our environmental campaign in 2018 in collaboration with our coalition to raise awareness about the various uh, period related issues around sustainability and health. And we have our national ambassador program, which was designed to train volunteers to provide unbiased period education in their communities. And we have various advocacy activities uh, that we hold as well, which we'll be speaking about. City to Sea is a non-profit organisation campaigning to stop ocean plastic pollution. It was founded by environmental activist Natalie Fee in 2015 and Plastic Free Periods was started in 2017 to highlight hidden plastic in period products, enable people to access plastic free period products, raise awareness about the proper disposal of single use products and we work with the media, NHS and government to increase education and access to organic and reusable period products. Rethink Periods was developed to equip schools and provide with up-to-date, dynamic, unbiased period education. Our Environmental Ambassador Programme is a community building initiative that encourages people to manage their periods without harming their health or the environment. Volunteer trainers are taught to deliver workshops about the harmful effects of certain period products. And we look at plastic pollution, toxic chemicals, and championing reusable and plastic free options. And through this, we also aim to destigmatize de periods and tackle period poverty. The Rethink Periods programme is an unbiased programme to educate about the menstrual cycle, reduce pollution from period products and tackle period taboos and inequality. It's a free nationwide training programme for primary and secondary, Key Stage 2 and Key Stage 3 school teachers and nurses. And every school that attends is given for free PSHE Association approved lesson plans, PowerPoints and supporting resources and a period product demo box worth over £100 with every type of of products that is on the market. Lessons focus on periods, people and products, periods in the environment, period equality, and myths, taboos, and celebrations. Our overall impact through education was training 47 environmental ambassadors, which has gone on to reach over 2,000 participants through workshops to date. We have also trained 724 Rethink Periods teachers and nurses, which has a projected student reach of over 104,000. We also delivered specialist workshops to community groups and universities, and that was uh, reaching 16 uh, groups. We also do collective action through our environmental week, lobbying with our coalition and hold events such as our environmental festival. We also have our coalition, which comes together to lobby major period product producers to remove plastic and harmful synthetic chemicals in single use menstrual products. We have an epic geographical reach thanks to COVID and forcing us to take our training online. So we were able to break down geographical barriers and train people all around the country. The um, map on the left shows orange schools which are trained and green schools which are registered for future Rethink Periods training. And our environmental ambassadors are spread across the UK in over 18 localities. And you can see there, um, they have a really good spread. We also work with amazing partners and since the start of our project we have 15 new coalition partners on board which is great. And we'd like to give a big thank you to our donors 
partners who um, donated around £80,000 worth of period products and made it possible for us to provide stellar toolkits and um, ambassador boxes for our trainees. Through our environmental week, we held various activities and uh, we had a toolkit which was disseminated online and this encouraged people to, to uh, raise awareness in their communities uh, through workshops or coffee mornings or creating badges. Um, we also disseminated over 3,000 stickers to raise awareness about uh, incorrect disposal of period products and the alternative menstrual products that are available that are sustainable. We also created an Environmental Week of Action uh, 2019 film, which is on the WEN website, which you're welcome to watch. Our Environmental Festival, uh, we had over 200 attendees and had even more following online. Um, we had 20 coalition partners take part and amazing menstrual themed art exhibition and various um, educational workshops that we offered. Our lobbying of manufacturers and retailers has seen amazing uh, progress. So we now have over 10 retailers offering plastic free period options. We have uh, one major manufacturer potentially introducing a reusable product range soon and also uh, the promise to list ingredients in disposable period products on the packaging of one manufacturer. And you can see uh, here on the right hand side a number of uh, retailers that have been making uh, really positive changes. Our environmental ambassador program, we managed to equip them with amazing online resources, including workshop presentations, research reports, product discount codes, and a great assortment of products to showcase during the workshops. And um, through um, the challenges of COVID, we were able to still reach over 2,000 participants online through our ambassador program. And ambassadors got super creative with a bunch of uh, social media um, outreach through live streams, uh, even Zoom sessions and creating infographics. With the Rethink Periods programme in the first six weeks of the COVID lockdown, we moved online and trained 436 educators with fantastic social media feedback. We've got plenty of people registered on our database and already have 30 educators booked onto our training events in January and February of 2021 as part of our new partnership for year two of Rethink Periods. Rethink Periods was awarded the Gold Global Good Award for the Special Judges Award for Innovation category and was a final list in the Best Education Award and as I've mentioned we're very proud to receive the PSHG Association Quality Assurance for our training resources. We are also delighted that our project was covered in various media outlets that you can see here. Here we've got some cracking testimonials, one from the environmental ambassador. I like the emphasis on the topics that are gaps in our education system, such as disposal issues that are so important but not covered. And one of our Rethink primary school teachers said of the training, extremely comprehensive coverage of available products, excellent explanations. So the future is really looking very bright. Uh, Southern Water has partnered with us at City to Sea, funding Rethink Periods in their service region for a further two years. Environmental Week is building and getting bigger and better than ever. WEN is continued supporting the current cohort of ambassadors until May 2021 and will be delivering future trainings and is in discussion with prospective funders and open to further funding and partnership opportunities. So we have lots of momentum and we're very thankful and we are on a roll. Thank you so much.